Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can take your output from one workflow, save it to a table, and then call for that table in a totally different workflow. Alright, so to get started, we're going to be working with this workflow we have looked at in previous videos. And let's say we got to this point in a previous video where we saved our output to a hyperfile for Tableau. Well, now instead of just saving to that hyperfile for uh, for work in Tableau, we also want to save the output um, into a table, which we're going to call into a different workflow. So to do that, first we're going to go into our node repository and look up the table writer node. So you should be able to find it right over here. You click, drag, and then what you do is just make the connection from where you want to output to the table writer node. And now what we're going to do is set up our directory. Where do we want to save? And I'm going to save mine in Nime. And then I'm going to save the file name as output example. And it'll be a dot table file. Hit save, apply, OK. So now the node's in the yellow status ready to be executed. So I'll right click, hit execute, and now the table's been written to that directory. Right, so now our output we have here, this is going to be saved to this table. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up top where we have another workflow ready to get started. And we're going to go back to the node repository and we're going to look up this time the table reader node. So once you find the table reader node, we'll click, click, drag and drop into your workflow. And now we'll set up our table reader by double clicking it to configure and then we'll browse and we'll go to the same directory where we saved the the nime um, the nime table we'll double click the file name hit open hit apply hit ok and now you can see the node is in the yellow status or mm -hmm. aka it's ready to be executed so now we'll right click execute it's been executed because of the green status now you can right click read table so now you have the same table from the previous workflow in a new and totally different workflow and we can compare both tables side by side just so you can see that it's uh, like for like we've got the same columns the year the department the depot percents the department labor expense as well as the total labor expenses so that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let me know what other types of videos you want to see. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next one.